one topic that pops up pops up on the uh, CLEF exam is probability, and um, they could ask all sorts of questions. But one question you might see, or one type of question that you might see, is a simple counting of permutations. So let's look at an example to get a sense of the type of question they might they might ask. Um, one thing they might they might talk about is it's a word problem or a situation where there's a person. Let's say I don't know Ted, and Ted goes to get lunch, and at lunch there's some amount of types of bread. Let's say I don't know, six types. Well, let's use a small example just to explain the nature of the problem. So three types of bread. And they might even specify what they are. Perhaps the bread that we're we're able to choose from might include something like rye, white bread, and uh, oat bread. Who knows? And also Ted needs to make a decision about the type of meat on the sandwich. Maybe there's two types of meat at this this restaurant. Perhaps they've got, I don't know, roast beef, roast beef, and ham. Uh, and, and perhaps there's also um, a two, two types of cheese. So, let's say provolone and Swiss, something. And what they might ask is, okay, how many different types of sandwiches can Ted make? And and you might think, well, this is a very simple problem, and it is. It is, but just be careful when you're when you're taking this because they're going to be specific about the way you can choose if order matters or not. So a typical question might say you can choose one type of meat, one type of bread, and one type of cheese, and exactly one. Well, then how many combinations can you make? And if that's the case. If you're just choosing one of each, it's as simple as multiplying the types of bread by meat and cheese to look at your total combinations, which is 12. And if they ask tougher questions about the, the, the combinations, for example, maybe Ted can get two types of meat or uh, three types of cheese and then double up. Maybe you can have a double order roast beef or ham. One tool that, that seems to be very useful for especially these type of problems or the smaller groups of problems is a, um, a, uh, a counting tree. And if you haven't seen this before, the idea is you start by listing out the number of branches that correspond to your first choice. So I think our first choice was bread. There were three types. So that's three branches. And we had, oops, excuse me, rye, whole wheat, and oat. And then for every bread choice you have, right, there, there were two types of meat, roast beef and ham. So you make two branches off of each type of bread, which shows you the two types of meat you could have chosen based on that bread. And for every bread choice, there was roast beef or ham. Roast beef or ham. And already you can see there's six possible sandwiches we could have built. And then from there, we say, well, there's two types of cheese. So two more branches. And you can see how this grows, right? The tree can get very large very fast, but it can still help you sort out what the problem's asking for. So the two types of cheese I think we have are provolone and Swiss. And then we're going to list provolone Swiss over and over again on the, on the end branches here. And, and to read a, a diagram like this, you can just read along the branch to determine what your options are. So here we have oat and rye and provolone. That's one option. And then we have oat and ham and provolone as a second option. And we can keep counting. And you see that you can actually physically get a picture of the 12 options that are available to this person at this location. And you can change the nature of the problem and change the nature of the, the tree structure to understand different permutations. Uh, but we might look at some other examples as uh, after this, some more difficult ones. All right, thanks.